Hello dear students, welcome to the fourth semester of the MCOM. Then our subject is the financial derivative and the risk management. In this lecture, I am going to introduce the syllabus of the financial derivative and the risk management. Okay, so what are the important elements for the important chapters, modules regarding your the financial derivatives and the risk management. Okay, uh, this is one of the important subject of the fourth semester of the MCOM. The subject code is MCM 4C14. That is the code for the financial derivative and the derivative and the risk management. Okay, and the financial derivative and risk management. This 80 hour subject. There is a four credit and five hours per week. And you have the five hours per week. And there is a 80 hours subject. The total is 80 hours for the subject and four credit. And the five hours per week. Okay. And what is the objectives for studying the subject? You are the financial derivative of the risk management. This is one of the important objective of the financial derivative and the risk management. That means to identify the areas of derivative by giving the knowledge regarding the options, futures, and the swaps. So this subject is mainly for introducing the financial derivative. Then financial derivative, what are the important derivative? There is a future, there is an option, there is a forward and swap. Try to give the necessary information regarding your the, these important categories of the derivative using in a particular market. The basic intention is reducing the risk. What is the basic purpose of the derivative that is reducing the risk in your the transactions? So in order to reduce the risk, we have using the term there is a derivative. And the derivative there is basically and four categories of the derivative there is a future there is option there is a forward and the swap these are the important categories of derivatives relating with the risk transactions okay and here the to make the students efficient in the area of the derivative and by giving the knowledge of the basic derivatives right, like here the forward future options and swap uh, this is one of the important objectives regarding this subject, the financial derivatives and the risk management. Okay, and there is a first module. This is the first module of the financial derivative. The first module it is discussing there is introduction regarding your risk management. So, what is the risk? The risk means uncertainty happening in future. The team is known as your the risk. So, first module we are familiarizing what we mean by the team is risk and meaning the importance and types of the risk and risk management process and after that what do you mean by the team is financial derivative the risk and the financial derivatives are closely connected the risk the financial derivative is used for reducing the risk in order to reduce the risk in the transaction we have using the tool the tool is known as your the financial derivative so what is the need importance of the financial derivatives and the growth of the financial derivative market in India. And what is the derivative market? The derivative market is a place where the derivative transactions are taking place. There is a buying and selling of the financial derivatives. It came, the market is known as the derivative market. And the accentuated financial derivative and participants in the financial derivative. That means hedges, speculators, arbitrages. These are different categories of the persons are including the transactions of the financial market and the derivative market and what are the functions of the derivative market types of the risk that means there is systematic and the unsystematic risk relating with the financial derivative that means market risk interest rate risk inflation credit risk default risk and these are different categories of the risk so the types of uh, risk is relating with your the financial derivative and there's a futures option, there's a classification of the derivative, there's a forward, future, options, and swap. So, and what are the regulatory framework? Now, the financial derivative market is controlled by the Security Exchange Board of India. And they have given a lot of the regulation for operating the financial derivative market. So, what are the important regulatory framework relative with your the derivative market? Uh, these are the important contents regarding your the first module that is 16 hours the first module we have the 16 hours and this module we discussing what you mean by this in, uh, what you mean the team is the risk management 
the meaning and the what is the financial derivative the classification of the derivative functions and what are the participants in the financial derivative and the regulatory framework relating with the financial derivative that's the first module of the financial derivative and the second module relating with the first important category of the derivative the future market the first market is a forward market forward market means there is a agreement between the buyers and seller without an intermediary there is a buyers and sellers without an intermediary the team is known as the forward market but the buyers are sellers buyers and sellers are involved with an intermediary the market is known as the future market the future means entire transaction between the buyers and the sellers is controlled by the exchange the exchange is acting as an intermediary in between the buyers and sellers so what is the forward market and what is the future market what are the basic difference between the forward market and the future market and how the futures are trading in the stock exchange and the futures are trading that means is based on margin mechanisms the futures are trading based on day to day margin so this module will be discussing the margin system for operating the futures and the currency future the different categories of the future there is a currency there is interest rate future and is a stock index futures and after we are discussing the valuation of these futures and the valuation of risk and what it mean the team is hedging the hedging means reducing the risk in the transaction how the futures are used for hedging in the stock index futures and the different categories of that means how the hedging is possible with help of the futures we are discussing the hedging with the futures in this module and after the margin system the future is trading based on three types of the margin there is initial margin there is a maintenance margin and the variation margin so there is a margin system is also discussing in this module and future trading in the stock exchange for the risk management and this is the second module this module will be discussing the sec uh, one of the important category of derivative that's a future meaning of future types of future the margin system in the futures and the valuation of the futures these are the important elements regarding the second module that is the operation of the future market normally is 20 hours for this the uh, second module the first module is 16 hours and second module is a uh, 20 hours that's the second module that is a future and third module regarding the option the option is another category of the derivative the third module we discussing the option market that means the need importance of the option what's the option market the option market is comparatively lower risk market comparatively low risk as compared to the future this risk is comparatively low the option means there is buy there is agreement between the buyer and seller with not in obligation to buy or sell the particular instrument or the commodity that is not as here the option market and this module we discussing the what you mean by team is option need importance of the option fundamentals of the option started that's put options and the call option call option means right to buy put option means right to sell the valuation of the option the trading strategies of the options a stock index options indian stock market options and these are the different categories of the options so the third module we discussing the put option call option the valuation strategies risk related with the option market index options in, in indian stock market and these are the important contents regarding the third module the third module is normally 60 hours 16 hours allotted for the third module so third module relating with the option market okay that is third module and the fourth module the fourth module is again continuation of this option market that means he will discuss the risk of the pricing of the option market intrinsic value of the time value of the option market expiry date of the contract that is american option and the european option we are discussing the expiry date of this uh, option market then the price of the call parity pricing model binomial pricing model and black show pricing model so the fourth module will be discussing the different categories of the models or different models are used for the option what are the options then put option poll options and we are using the binomial option pricing and black show uh, pricing methods so this is a fourth module contents this is a continuation of 
option market and the risk uh, relating with the risk pricing of the option and how the options are relating with the uh, uh, marketing strategy that means two important category of marketing strategy that is the binomial options and the black shoe model of the option this so discussing the fourth module the different categories of the option normally 16 hours are allotted for your the fourth module the 16 hours we have the 16 hours for the fourth modules okay that's a fourth module and this is a fifth module this is the last module relating with your the option market so that is a it's a swap mark swap swap means it's like an exchange swap is a part of the derivative what is a swap swap means it's exchanging the cash inflow between the persons the team is known as your the swap market so the fifth module this last module we discussing what you mean by team is a swap meaning definition structure of this swap and different categories of the swap that's interest rate swaps there's a commodity swap there's a forward swap then swap option then extendable swap non-generic swap there's different categories of the swap and how the currency swaps and interest rate swaps are working so that's the operations of the currency swap the valuation of the currency swap and the there is interest rate swap that is how the interest rate swap is operating this diagram shows that there is a swap swap means exchange a and the b are the two important persons they are exchanging the cash inflow through intermediary the bank is sometimes acting as a intermediary so they are uh, they are exchanging the cash inflow between the persons a and b are the two important parties relating with the swap market they are exchanging the cash inflow through the intermediary. The intermediary is here the bank. So there is a swap transaction, and he and we discussing the different types of swap. There is the interest rate swaps and the currency swap, and hybrid swap system is also using. So fifth module, we discussing the swap development structure and the categories of the swaps and the recent trends in the swap market and derivative and taxations on the derivative. Uh, these are the uh, one of the basic important content regarding with the fifth module that is the swap operations of the swap okay or uh, this is a five important modules so once again the first module that is the introduction the introductions regarding you are the risk management what you mean by this the risk and the risk means uncertainty and what are the different types of the risk there is systematic and the unsystematic risk and we are control in order to reduce the risk we are using the team that is a risk management and we are using the need importance of the risk management growth of the financial derivative and what do you mean by the team is a financial derivative exchange trader financial derivative and categories of derivative that's a forward future options swaps that's the first uh, module this is a, yeah, these are the important contents regarding the first module this six normally 16 hours are allotted and the second module that is a one of the another important instrument there's a future market there's a forward market is also also discussing the first module and the future that is a in between the buyers and sellers there is an intermediary exchange is acting as an intermediary and the second module we're discussing the future market and there's a different categories of the future currency interest rate equity futures and we are using the term hedging how the hedging is applicable with help of the future and the future trading in the stock exchange these are the important contents regarding the second module and normally is a 20 hours are allotted and third one that's option third module regarding option 16 hours lecture there's option We're discussing the meaning of the options need importance of the option this is two important categories the put options and the call option the call options means right to buy put options are used for right to sell and the strategies are using the option models so the third module that's option trading and fourth module is a part of the option but we are discussing different models like the binomial distribution and the black shoe model and the time value and the intrinsic value regarding your the options so this is a fourth module 16 hours are discussing the strategies for the options and finally it's a final module that is a swap swap is exchanging the cash inflow between two persons the different categories swap there's interest rate, currency, hybrid system of the swap, different categories of the swap. And we're discussing the how the swaps are working. So there's an example regarding swap working. There's a 
team bond one person buyer another person seller and through the intermediary they are performing the swap transactions so that is an example regarding your the swap transaction okay and these are the important uh, modules relating with your the financial derivatives and the risk management the last module we have the two hours and the finally uh, what are the important references are used uh, these are the uh, one of the standard books used for the financial there is a kevin books there is a measuring the market risk john c hull books jayant ramavarma mishra sl gupta ss kumar financial derivative these are the important uh, reference in textbook used for the financial derivative uh, we have we have to refer these are the standard books that are used for the financial derivative so in order to understand the subject clearly we have to refer this the categories of the books so these are the important references regarding your the subject your the financial derivatives and the risk management okay anyway thank you thank you so much and thank you for watching me